the necessity of choice is due to the fact that a human wants are insatiable b consumers like to maximize satisfaction c resources are abundant and d consumers are selective now this question is taken from the topic titled economics and its concepts so uh, i'm going to give you a quick rundown of uh, all the concepts you need to know as far as this topic is concerned uh, economics has been defined by lord leonie robinson as a social science that studies human relation rather a social science that studies human behavior as a relationship between end and scarce means which has alternative users these are the key words in that definition a social science it studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means Now, what do we mean by a social science? Any science or a field of study that focuses on human interaction is said to be a social science. Now, economics focuses on how human beings behave when they are faced with a situation where they have so many needs, but the resources available to meet those needs are limited. So, I'm going to take the following additional concept that will make us understand the concept of economics the next one is scale of preference then choice so another word for end is needs or wants or desires example could include shoes, bags, foods, and clothing. Scarce mean simply means that the resources required to meet these needs that I've listed above are limited in supply. Our uh, limited in supply of resources. Then when you're faced with a situation where you have so many needs and the available resources are limited, so what do you do? There will be a need for you to prioritize. When I mean prioritize, you need to list your needs in the order, in the order of importance. And that list that you come up with when you arrange your needs in the in order of importance is referred to as a scale of preference. So please don't let us forget that when you arrange your needs in the, in the, in the order of importance, the list that you come up with it's called a scale of preference please you must also note that when you arrange your needs the most pressing needs the most important ones should come first why the least important ones should be at the tail end thereafter after let me give an instance if you have the following i need the following i need shoes some are my needs please i need shoes i need bags I need food, I need clothing. So if I decide to arrange them as I want it, depending on who you are, for me, if I'm to arrange these needs according to their importance, the most pressing one for me will be as follows. The first one for me will be food, followed by Clothings, then followed by shoes, then I'll have bags. Let us assume that each of these items goes as follows. This goes for 200 naira, this goes for 500 naira, this goes for 300 naira, and this one goes for 
700 naira and uh, if you add all of this together total the total is 200 plus 500 plus 300 plus 700 that should be 1500 if as a student i only have a budget of 1000 1000 naira so what happened this is my budget all i need to do is to i'll be able to do the following i'll be able to get this i'll be able to get this and i'll be able to get this so my 1000 naira budget will only enable me to satisfy the need of food clothing and shoe so this example this is called a scale of preference scale of preference thank you now finally what has happened because i've actually itemized my needs in the order of importance and i've decided to go for food clothing and shoes what i've just done is i've actually made a choice so what is a choice when you select one option out of many alternatives then you have said to make a choice so back to our question the necessity of choice is due to the fact that a human wants are insatiable consumers like to maximize satisfaction that's b resources are abundant that's d then the c then the d is consumers are selective the correct answer in this question is human wants are insatiable our wants are numerous the next question i'll read the labor force in nigeria falls between the ages of a 18 and 45 b 18 and 55 c 18 and 60 then d 18 and 30 now i must let you know that this question was picked under the labor market topic of your uh, jump economics syllabus labor market so i'm going to give you a quick overview of what you should know under the labor market now what is labor all human effort be it mental or physical that are directed towards the production of goods and services is referred to what we call labor now the next is what do we mean by labor force the total number of people that are willing and ready to work and who also fall within the working age population or working age bracket is referred to as labor force please take note of the following in that definition for the fact that you are ready and you are willing to work does not automatically make you part of the labor force you must be ready and willing to work that's the first condition and the second condition is that you must fall within the age working bracket you must fall within the working population now depending on the country you find yourself different countries with different uh, labor law defining what the working population age bracket should be in Nigeria for example the labor force or the labor force falls within the age of between the age 18 to 60 years in Nigeria so anybody that is below 18 in Nigeria is not considered as part of the labor force even though you are willing and ready to work now also this is the minimum here is the maximum the maximum age please take note age the maximum age anybody above the age of 60 is considered to be outside the labor uh, force so the law in Nigeria specified that if you are to be considered as somebody who is willing and ready to work then you must be between the age bracket of 18 to 60 years now let's go back to the question again the labor force in Nigeria falls between the ages of a 18 and 45 that is not correct wrong 
B18 and 55, that is not correct, that's wrong. C18 and 60, and that is the correct answer. So the correct answer is C.